Nigerians have hope in this committee from the way we are conducting the business of this committee everybody is seeing what we are doing we will not compromise by hiding irregularities going on in public service no amount of statement accusing this committee will deter us from doing our job you may have your problem with a member of this committee, but don't blackmail the entire committee. I'm saying this because I am not being accused of anything, but you have issues that you want to make publication about a member of this committee, sort it out with him. Don't put anything at the faces of the members of this committee. We are determined to do justice to Nigerians in the course of this investigation. My only appeal to the members of the third estate of the realm, the priest, fought, is that let us be credible journalists. If you have anything to say about us, be categorical. Don't accuse my members blindly. Tell us who is accusing who instead of tagging this committee as a corrupt committee is unacceptable to us. We are not. We are not and we will never be. Nigerians have hope in us and this will be the first in the history of National Assembly that you will see a mind-blowing recommendation that is aimed and targeted as cleaning our public service. So the statement is simple. We will not be deterred. But don't bring an inducting set of headlines in the name of selling your newspaper or agency. Please, I'm saying this in regard to the statement method attributed to the premium times of today. We pronounce it over and over and we continue to say, for the first time, I will tell Nigerians that waiver doesn't even exist in Federal Character Commission Act. It doesn't. The act itself doesn't say waiver should be granted. Thank you, sir. It was a creation of the Federal Character Commission plenary. It was like a resolution of the commissioners of the Federal Character. And if it is not part of the law, I, we, this committee, assure Nigerians that waiver is dead. Because certainly we will recommend for the abolishment of waiver in the recruitment process in the Nigerian ministries and department of government. So the assurance you will give us, we are giving you assurance that your waiver will not exist. Without giving us assurance, be rest assured that waiver will not exist in our recruitment process by the special grace of God. We will certainly do that. Going forward, you have admitted imbalances. You have equally assured this committee that should there be opportunity for recruitment, you are going to ensure that those gaps are covered. Definitely. By ensuring fairness to the other region, because agency is situated in your own locality, it doesn't mean that other Nigerians should not be allowed to operate and have the benefit of working in those environments. The agency belongs to the Nigerian people. Definitely. And so Nigerians should be given the opportunity to work there.